let's look at how padding affects motion of objects. In hockey, pucks are hitting you all the time. We're going to look at two pucks hitting me. The first puck I'm going to try to have hit my thigh pad. The second one I'm going to do something special with, and I want to compare the two types of motion. All right, first watch how the pad reacts to a puck hitting it. All right, here we go. Yes! Okay, now hold that thought and watch the second one. Here we go. All right, excellent. Two very different motion, and yes, I exaggerated the second one. But here's the point I want to make. Both of these pucks have the same mass, and they both came in at the same speed, which means they both have the same momentum. Regardless of if it hits the pad or I catch it, I'm bringing the puck to no speed, rest, zero. The change in momentum, regardless of how I stopped it, is the same. The change in momentum is the same, regardless of how I stopped it. Now, here it is. The way I stopped it is referred to in physics as an impulse. An impulse is a relationship between force and time. Well, we've just seen that an egg hitting a wall has a change in momentum and experiences a change in momentum that the wall provides such a large impact force that the egg structurally can't survive. Now, that's a reflection that the egg spent very little time in contact with the wall. So little time that the force needed to slow it down was greater than the egg could handle. Well, let's look at one more demonstration here. And this one is the one that gives us a lot more information about the varying force. Now in this case, I have a sheet hanging from the wall. And I'm going to stand as far back from the sheet as I was from the wall when I tossed that egg. All right, so I'm going to chuck it at the same speed and let's see what happens. So here's our egg. Here we go. All right, great. Well, in this case, the egg survived. That means that the change in momentum was the same. It still went from having the same initial velocity to zero velocity. But in this case, the sheet was able to lower the force by increasing the time to cause that change in momentum. So it's by the structure itself that we can increase the time. And the result is to decrease the force, to lower the amount of force required through that large amount of time to change the momentum of this egg. Well, that is the idea behind all applications of safety. Is there enough time to reduce the force enough to maintain the structural integrity of the object, whatever it is? Well, when you have eggs and sheets, you always want to see how much the egg can take. So let's throw it a little bit harder. OK, here we go. Whoa, that, was, that could take quite a bit. I'm a bit worried that it breaks behind the, as it hits the wall, but so we'll try to see what we can do. All right, here's harder. Oh, it hit the wall, but it still isn't broken. All right, here we go. One more time. Here we go. Well, that's about as hard as I can throw this egg, and it still does the job. It still survives, which means this is a great device. Simple. Hang a sheet in front of something when there's balls or, or something flying all over the place. Even people, big gyms have big curtains that come down and they're flexible enough that because they're wound up to the ceiling that even people who run into them won't get hurt. And the whole reason is, or part of the reason in that case, is that it has time to give, increasing the time, thus decreasing the force. Now let's look at the force here just real quick. As this egg comes in, there's a point where the curtain comes in contact with the egg. And at that point, the curtain is pushing, or the sheet is pushing on the egg, but not great enough to have a significant change in the egg's momentum. So the momentum of the egg continues pushing harder and harder on that sheet. Well, as the sheet gets stretched away from its equilibrium position, it has a component of gravity that's trying to pull it back into place to equilibrium. And that means that the sheet is pushing harder and harder on that egg. Now, there is a point when the force of the sheet is great enough to really, really affect the speed of this egg. And then when the egg has, has started to die down its velocity, the push on the sheet starts to peter off down to zero, and the egg falls into the 
into the little capture device down here. It's a fitted sheet. Great device. It works. It, best invention I ever had. All right, well, let's draw a picture of what that force looks like. Because when we talk about applying an impulse to change an object's momentum, there's a force in there. But the force is always changing. So what do we do? Well, let's go to the board and draw a picture.